Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. Drew here speaking, and it's great to have you back for another video here on our YouTube channel. As you can see there, we've got the Z Code V3 coming soon. You can go over to the blog and read all about it to know what is happening this summer at Z Code System. And of course, we've got all of the great previews for the sports that are going on this summer, whether it be Major League Baseball, soccer, or some of the previews that are coming up that we're going to be posting on some of the major sporting events such as the NFL preview and an NBA preview and NHL preview coming up as well. Coming up all this summer, you can check those out there at zcodesystem.com backslash blog. And today we're going to be talking about the English Premier League, which kicks off this weekend on Friday, the August 5th. And you can go to the blog there to read up on the Premier League. The blog will be posted by the time you see this video. I've just written it, uh, posting it uh, after this video and we'll post it when this video goes live, and you'll be able to check it out there on the blog. Now, talking about the English Premier League here, we're going to go over the outright betters odds, the outright winners odds, I should say, for the upcoming Premier League, which kicks off again this weekend, August the 5th. And you're going to see Crystal Palace hosting Arsenal in the first match of the season. So one game on Friday, and then we're going to see more games kick off on Saturday. Then we'll get into things even more on Sunday with even more Premier League fixtures. So we're going to be taking a look at those outright winner bets and outright winner odds coming up. And uh, you can see that in just a second here on the video. All right, guys, here is the outright winners uh, betting markets from Bet365, my favorite sports book. Of course, there are other sports books available. So, you know, do you do the one that you prefer? But this is my favorite sports betting website. And look at all these markets that you have for the English Premier League. This is just the English Premier League. Obviously, there are other uh, sports or, excuse me, other soccer leagues that are going to be kicking off uh, this weekend. And uh, we also saw the championship kick off last weekend and more leagues kicking off uh, as we go on through the month of August. Remember, the World Cup is taking place in November and December. So there is going to be a pause for the major leagues in Europe and, and other places in the world. So go over and check out our, our video and our blog on the World Cup so you can get up to date on all of that information and the outright winners odds for that tournament. But again, like I said, we're looking at the Premier League here. And these are the great markets that you have courtesy of Bet365. You've got the outright winners market to win the league. You've got the to win outright without. Uh, you've got the top scorer market, the top four market, the top at Christmas market, the bottom at Christmas market. So many markets that you can go over and wager on. Um, unfortunately, you can't really make a, or you can't make with Bet365 with Bet and ACA uh, on any of these uh, markets. I mean, putting these markets all together, one from each market. But you can go out and make a single bet on these and win some great profits if you know your Premier League betting. And throughout the season, I'm going to be coming to you with blogs uh, almost every week, if not every week, and videos talking about the games coming up in the Premier League. And also we'll be talking about the Champions League when that kicks off later in the year. All right, let's take a look at those outright winner odds for the Premier League season. And as you can see there, Man City are the favorites to take the title. They've won the last two titles and four of the last five. And bookies love them to win it this year. They are minus 163 to win it. City, uh, like I said, have won four of the last five Premier League titles. The only team to stop them during that five-year time span is Liverpool, who come in at plus 250 to win the Premier League title. Now, if you cast your mind back to last Premier League season, Liverpool were beaten by Man City in the title race by one point in a fantastic title race that went down to the last 20 minutes of the of the regular season in the Premier League and a fantastic last day of the season in which City were down 2-0 and they had to come back against Aston Villa, scoring three times, um, I think it was in the last uh, 30 minutes in the game, to to win the title and to, to be champions for a second straight season. So they're aiming to win the title for a third straight year. Tottenham Hotspur, keep your eye on them. They've had a great summer of recruitment, signing new players, and they, uh, in my opinion, have had the best off season of any of the 20 Premier League teams. And this is a team I think that can push both Liverpool and Man City for the title. I know that sounds crazy, and a lot of people will look at me with uh, with a you know a weird look in their eye, but I think Spurs 
could possibly win the title this season because they have gotten stronger. They have a Premier League winning manager in Antonio Conte, and this is going to be a very strong team. Chelsea, on the other hand, I think this is a team that's taking steps backwards. They've made some moves this season, shedded some uh, dead weight, if you will, uh, new owners there at the club. And this is a, a team that necessarily doesn't have the money just to throw at problems that they have in the past. So we could see them taking a step back while Arsenal could be taking a step forward with some of the moves they've made in the offseason. Man United, I think, going to be a bit stagnant this season. Newcastle, owned by Saudi Arabia now. Um, uh, this is a team that is on the up. Uh, they've recruited wisely. They've not spent lots of money. They've, they've looked at things and uh, kind of... Uh, molded the team in, in a, a very smart way. And I think that Newcastle could uh, not necessarily break the top four this season, but will have a go at the top six. Uh, and they are plus 10,000 to win the Premier League. So looking at this, we can see that Man City and Liverpool are the, the bookies' favorites to win this and you know possibly could go down to the final day once more between these two teams. Now, if you watched the Community Shield over the weekend, Liverpool defeated Manchester City in the Community Shield. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Community Shield, it is the traditional curtain raiser in the English football season. It's the FA Cup winner, who was Liverpool last season, against the Premier League champion, who was Manchester City last season. And Liverpool won that game 3-1 in what is oftentimes considered a, a exhibition match. But those two teams took it extremely seriously, and Liverpool came out on top 3-1 uh, in that game. Fantastic game if you're a Liverpool supporter, not so much if you're a Man City supporter. Now let's look at a couple of the other markets. I just want to touch on them before we go because you know there are a lot of great markets, like I said, here at Bet365. And uh, we'll be touching on some of this stuff throughout the season on um, Z-Code System for the Premier League as we go forward. I love the Premier League, it's my specialty, and so we're gonna be going over a lot of stuff there. And this is the relegated, the teams to be relegated um, market. There are three teams, of course, relegated at the end of each Premier League season, and we've got Bournemouth at minus 225 to be relegated, Nottingham Forest plus 120, and Fulham plus 125. Now, those are the three teams who were promoted at the end of last season to the Premier League from the Championship. And to be honest, Bournemouth of those three teams have probably done the least amount of recruitment to bring in quality players at this level. And I think they're going to struggle mightily. And that's a good shout for them to go down. Forest, I think, are a good team, and I think they're going to finish away from the premier. Uh, excuse me, away from the relegation zone. And I think they're going to be safe at the end of this season. That's one of my picks. Uh, I think they've done really well. They've got a really good coach in Steve Cooper, and this is a team on the up. Fulham, a yo-yo club, they come up from the championship, then they go back down, then they come up, and they go back down. I don't really think that they've gotten any better than they were uh, necessarily last year when they were in the championship, when they won the championship. And I think that they're going to battle relegation. Uh, Leeds, uh, it's an it's a up-and-down team. They battled relegation last season and only kept up or stayed up in the Premier League thanks to a last day of the season win. Brentford. Southampton, both teams are teams that have flirted with the drop, and Wolverhampton Wonders, I think, could uh, could find themselves near the bottom three towards the end of the season, as well as Brighton. I don't think that they've done too too uh, too well in the uh, transfer window so far. But Everton, I want to highlight them real quickly. I think that that is a team. That's my tip for a team to go down at the end of the season by relegation. This is a side that has flirted with it over the last couple of years. I don't think that their manager, Frank Lampard, is going to be in the job by the end of the season, possibly not by Christmas even. And I think this is a team that has spent a lot of money poorly over the last few years. They don't have a lot of money now. And this is going to be a season in which we see Everton finally relegated uh, at the end of the campaign. Now, to give you a little, well, not a little, to give you a, um, my choice, I guess I should say, as Premier League champion. I know we're going to be uh, doing that uh, this season. Of course, Man City are uh, the reigning champions, two-time champions now, back-to-back -back champions. Uh, Liverpool ran them close last season, but I really like Tottenham Hotspur. I really like what they've done this offseason. Not a Spurs fan, but I really like what they've done, and I think that this is a team that could finally win the Premier League title. If not, I think they can come second in the Premier League. So if you go for an each-way bet there with bet 365, you get one-third the odds uh, on an each-way bet. So, you know, I'm picking Spurs to finish either first or second. Uh, and I can see Liverpool falling down to third uh, at the end of this season simply because they did so well last season. They, they were fighting for four trophies up until that final day of the Premier League season. They won the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. 
They missed out on the Premier League by one point, and they lost the Champions League final to Real Madrid by uh, a goal to nil. So I think that we're going to see them fall off, and I think Arsenal are going to get into the top four ahead of Chelsea. So those are a couple of my picks for this upcoming Premier League season. You can read the blog to get a little bit more information about some of my picks and the other things that are going on with the Premier League this season. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Who's going to win the Premier League this season? Who's going to be relegated? And who's going to finish in the top four? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and uh, you know share this on social media as well as subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything we do here at Z Code System. I'll see you guys next time here on the channel.